Today is October 16th and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm Maura Vaughn. Here are today's top stories. Last night, a video was posted to X showing graphic content involving fraternity members throwing up on other students, then panning to reveal another student tied to a pole with their mouth taped. According to the university, those involved in the video are allegedly a part of Syracuse's Phi Kappa Psi fraternity. Chancellor Ken Siverud sent an email to students this afternoon. Siverud says, I am disgusted by the actions that appear in these videos and condemn this conduct. Earlier today, the university issued an immediate interim suspension with halt, which halts all Phi Kappa Psi activities. The video already has over 100,000 views, claimed to be from a fraternity at the University of Mississippi, later confirmed by SU to be here on campus. Neither the Inner Fraternity Council nor the Phi Kappa Psi responded to Citrus TV's request for comment. And two 90 year olds are hospitalized after a house caught fire last night in the town of Salina. Firefighters found heavy fire on the house's left side and carried two of the couple out of the home. They're currently in critical condition. Onondaga County's Health Department will mail free Narcan to any local in need. The program will mail out drug testing strips and other supplies for the safe use. For County Health Department says the plan will raise awareness and decrease stigma around county harm reduction efforts and overdoses. To receive supplies, call or text the county's harm reduction supplies line below. And Making Strides Against Breast Cancer event is holding an event Sunday, October 20th at Clinton Square in Syracuse. Activities begin at 8.30 in the morning and the walk at 10. Activities include special giveaways, photo opportunities, pink merchandise, a kid's zone, food trucks, music, and more. For more information, makingstrideswalk.org slash Syracuse or join the event's Facebook group. And coming up, scammers are using election season to target voters' bank accounts. Stay with us. Life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome. Prediabetes does. One in three adults has prediabetes, but with early diagnosis, prediabetes can be reversed. And you can change the outcome. Take the one minute prediabetes risk test today. Go to doihaveprediabetes.org. As the election draws nearer, voters are bombarded with texts and emails asking you to donate to a campaign. But before you do, be careful. Many scammers are using the election as a cover. The Better Business Bureau is warning people to be aware of sharing personal information where you're sending contributions. And the Syracuse University Department of Drama opens its 2024 to 25 season with the Tony Award winning musical Pippin, directed by Tornia Beard and featuring over 30 students. Pippin follows a young prince's quest for true happiness, discovering that joy lies in life's simple moments. Catch performances from October 11th to the 20th at the Storch Theater. Tickets are available through the Syracuse Stage Box Office or by calling 315-443-3275. And snow hit early in upstate New York this year. Here to tell us what comes next is weather anchor Spencer Conjol. Spencer? Maura, yes, it has snowed in New York State. Luckily for us, it, it only snowed up in uh, the Adirondacks and some high elevations up in the mountains. So we aren't going to see any here, and hopefully we won't for a while. For more on that, tune into News Live at 6. But right now, it's 47 degrees outside. Cloudy now, but earlier this morning we were seeing some scattered showers and the sun did kind of peek out a little bit. We really had the, the full spectrum of weather today. Uh, and now as we move into this evening, if I could figure out where the temperatures are, things are going to get a little chilly. We are also seeing our first frost advisory uh, tonight, lasting from midnight uh, tomorrow morning until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So it's going to be chilly. It's going to be pretty cold. Get your jackets ready, Syracuse, because winter is coming, hopefully not too soon, but it is coming. That's all I have for weather for now. Maura. Thanks, Spencer. I actually brought up my jacket from fall break here. And that's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on X and Instagram. I'm Maura Vaughn. The news continues in an hour with Dylan Brendel and Cora Maricosta.